Both teams come into this one riding high after back-to-back -back wins. Mr. Vitale, this third round game should prove to be a tight one between the Grambling State Tigers and the Kansas Jayhawks. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Jayhawks are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Secondly, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. And lastly, get your man on your hip after the shot, lock out, and get after those boards. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The center takes the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. There's the pick. There's the roll. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. the dribble gives it up and Dick this is just playing good defense and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot here we go on the break tries for two goes and a momentary look from three-point land coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion how about a replay, boys? Harvey is fired up right now emotionally. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Goes up for two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there on the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Jumps in. He gets it to go. They scored 10 in a row. we go he shoots from the angle there was no doubt about that one Looking for a good shot from three-point range. It sticks. This is worth the second look. They'll work it around the arc. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. 
Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. And he's going to pick up the foul and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Up it inside. The center gets the pass. He shoots from the elbow. Scorches the net. Trying to feed inside. Tries one from three-point land. Great shot. goes out of bounds. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Dumps it in. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Off the rim and no good. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Passed on the guy in the post and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the opportunity. On the inside. Ball goes out of play. Gave it up. The center takes the feed for two. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Worked the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They look to get it to the inside. The point guard with the ball. He puts up the three ball. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. The power forward gets the ball. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. Basic. He unloads a three. He gets it to fall. And the ball goes out of play. Got a man in high post. But inside. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had to. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ten seconds to put it up. He's got a high post flasher. Trying to go inside. Shot clock expires. It expired because this is a good example of how to make an offense think themselves out of a good shot, Brad. Great defense. In the paint. Stolen. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Rambling State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Oh, 
Steals a pass. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. And he scores it off the glass. Turns it over. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He shoots from left of the circle, way off target. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Doesn't go. For two, he gets the shot to fall. Work the perimeter. He's open if he wants the shot. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. It's good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Go up the other way, get a layup. They're working around the perimeter. The frustration right there. Leans in, and he scores despite the hack. The Jayhawks are at the top of the ESPN polls, which means everyone else will be trying to knock them off. Hey, when you have a squad like this, Brad, you always have to bring your A game. Opponents will come after you with grit and boldness. And his shot rejected. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Full court pass. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boys going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. The Tigers will step to the line for the first time. He can't buy one. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two, and he missed. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Up, oh, easy one. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He's going to dump down inside. Nobody rotated down from up on top. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Turnover. I'm not talking out the turnovers either. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts it in with contact and all. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, stolen. No. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Bryant fakes the shot. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use him? On the outside. With anticipation defensively. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. The fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays, and boy, do they have the momentum now. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. He sinks it. Look out, the defender is smacked by that screen. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They work it around the arc. Intercepted. Gave it up for two. They still don't score. Way to cover the ball on defense. It causes a five-second infraction. They're set to throw it in from the side. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Puts the ball loose. The Jayhawks are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Working it around the perimeter. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle. He nails the shot. Good fake. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. 
Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. And he'll kick it back outside. Come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. He shows the sweet touch. Stolen away. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's the pick. On the dribble, gives it up. Pushing up basketball. Almost lost the basketball. And a momentary look from blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Jumps into the defender. Gets it to go. He pump fakes. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. I say they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Carew. Fake. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Three. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores it off the glass. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. They're working around the perimeter. Fakes it. He blocks the shot. Perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Tigers are trailing by two. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Kansas has
has made a statement by crashing the boards in the first half, Dick. Very, very strong statement. They're letting the opposition know that they're not going to give them any second chance opportunities. And that speaks volumes, baby. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Bryant receives the pass. He bombs from outside. He nails the shot. Gave it up. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. With the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Trying to draw contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Nice job defensively. The power forward receives the ball. Goes up for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. the outside. Spander handles the pass. Kansas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. For the bucket. In and out. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. He puts it up. He nails the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire.
Looking for a good shot. That shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. That's good. Oh, what a strip, Red. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. Steal. I pull screen. So effective, that screen. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. He tries a jump hook. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Gave it up. Nix handles the feed. They move it into the front court. Steal. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Shoots it. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hitting the shots, Brad. Here's a double team. A strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. The fake. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Bryant rips the offensive board. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. Kick it back outside. Stolen ball. Now they'll push it the other way. Goes up for two. 
The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. That was nice. In the paint. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Down low, there's a drop and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Blah, blah, blah. for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Foul charge. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. All right, thanks, Aaron. Second one is good. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes away the pass. Dribble gives it up. This is what you're supposed to do down low. Go up strong. I tell you, that was a great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> Ziggy. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense, half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually a top of the standings because they can play that style. Slow-mo, please. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Nice fake. For two, they still don't score. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They push it up on the break. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Great defense. Working it around the perimeter. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Kicks it out. Picked out of the air. He shoots from the top of the circle. 
That's good. There's the trap. Strips the ball. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Hammers it down. The Tigers are down by eight. And he'll kick it back outside. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. A high screen. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. To take some pride on a defensive end. Steals the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. It's stolen. Here they go into the break. Rambling State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They're working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. For the bucket. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The partner of this one could go right down to the wire. You've got to love these close moves, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. He shoots from downtown. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll look at a pair of free throws. Gets his first. He can't get one to fall. Jumped in front to take it away. They work the perimeter. In the post for two. Easy one. He's got a nice shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. Intercepted. Gave it up. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. Good move using the pro hop to draw the foul. Hey, the defense is a little slow reacting there. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. They will line them up. Misses the first shot. Second shot, good. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. He lets it go. Rambling State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Picked off. Cross court. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They'd like to.
to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. No good from the field. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Robs him of the ball. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, that's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Picks off the pass. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, the shot seemed to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He strips him clean. And again, they look to run. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the deuce. That was nice. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Steals the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Great defense. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. Great shot. Hold on. Let's see that again. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Gave it up. Kicks it out. The Jayhawks have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Has a nice look at the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You drive, shoot, or you can pass. 
You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. And the clock stopped with a foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Three on the shot clock. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this point in the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Hits the second shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Step back out onto the court. He shoots from long range. He shows the sweet touch. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He'll go to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Second shot is good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. He puts up the tray. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Got it! That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes his second shot. If they want a chance to win, they really need a bucket here. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. And the clock stop for the foul. At the free throw line. Opportunity... No rebounding that. He hits the second. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. I think she's right about that, Richie. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. He buries it. Ball goes out of bounds. This game is not over, Dick, and I mean not by a long shot. Absolutely not, Brad. I think the momentum actually shifted on that play. They go back in front by two. From the baseline. Off the rim and no good. 
Dick, you said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Jayhawks just wanted it a little bit more in this game, and because of that, they're going to live to play another day, Dick. Hey, they're on their way to the Elite Eight, Mr. Nestle, where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in that nation. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. Good night, everybody.